Hey everyone, John Chow here for johnchow.com and uh, I'm here with Sally. I'm back. Yes, he, she is back. We are at the San Clemente outlet, uh, here to charge the Tesla, walk widget, and check out cars and coffee upstairs. Come on, let's go. Uh, looks like a busy day today. Parking lot is all full. Well, a few spots here at the end, but everything else looks pretty busy. All right, check out the slingshot. Someone did a donut yesterday. That's cool. I like it. It looks so unsafe. It looks so unsafe. <laughs> but it, it is cool. I like it. I mean, for starting at twenty thousand dollars, you you want to attract attention and bang for buck in terms of how much heads you can turn for the amount of money spent. Uh, that Polaris slingshot is pretty hard to beat. That is so cool. Hey, Sally, check out all the vanity plates. We got the room on this Porsche Boxster, and there's on this other one here. We got. Uh, Racer X or Vicer X and this one is this one is good riddance yeah go R&D good riddance I think this one say what a spice for me oh spider for me okay spider for me that's what I want to say and then this one say uh, Yasa M4 Yasa M4 hmm I think I'm gonna search for vanity place today and here's one with just no place, just Porsche. And oh, this one here. Check out this one. Daddy, it's a E82 NA. You're not supposed to record license plates. <laughs> no. Dude, I don't care. We're going to record no. them all. <laughs> See, Sally, no custom plates on this thing. But on there, it says hooligan. <laughs> it's a hooligan. A hooligan green is a. And, oh, okay. You notice this. The green wheel. Well, that definitely. That makes him a hooligan, all right. Check out that multi-color. Let me zoom in on this. The multi-color color paint job on the hood of this thing. It looks like it's only on the hood too. <laughs> it's like he puts his put sprinkles on it. Hey, sorry. Look, look at the wheels. <laughs> nice. We're just making friends. <laughs> Come on, widget. Let's go. I think he was a little too fast and too furious. Yeah, he. The uh, the bumper's gone, and the Let's left side of the uh, of the uh, I guess this cap here that's gone too, and this GoPro's gone. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you can okay, tell. I think, you're, I think you're onto it right there. Yeah, I think he actually drives it. Not just a showpiece; he actually drive. Nice M4. It's a Yaz M4. That's an old vintage turbo. Daddy, they took away the Volkswagen from the Volkswagen. Oh my god, you're right. They took away the Volkswagen logo from this Volkswagen. But you can clearly tell. It's a Scooby-Doo! It's a, Sco it's a Volkswagen. Vintage Corvette. Vintage Chevrolet pickup truck. Okay, he's peed. And a Pontiac GTO. He peed a little under the truck. It's a modified aerial atom. No, it looks like the Transformers version of a Cobra. Uh, okay, but on but it's like really the Cobras that look like Belugas. <laughs> this is like an uglier version. Right. So this is an like aerial atom, and they put a, a nose kit on it. But it really, it is an aerial atom, and it's for sale. Only asking twenty one thousand dollars. Cool. So if you want to see what it feels like to. Uh, you know, being a totally exposed vehicle, a raw sensation, this would be it. Five point harness, manual shifter, <laughs> no power anything, probably no power steering, no power brakes, no power nothing, but you got a phone holder. This is a nice Porsche, Porsche GT3. Porsche. You love Porsche GT3, Sally. It has a mustache. Yeah, like it has a mustache on it. That's a mustache, that's right. And then here we have uh, next to a Lotus. And you can really tell the size difference between, look at see, the Porsche GT3, not a big car, but that, it looks gigantic next to the Lotus. The Lotus has I mean, the Lotus looks tiny. So 
And next to this lotus is kind of like a, I guess a giant lotus. A giant lotus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, compared to this thing, this thing looks positively huge. And then you have... To and then to give you a better idea, you know, here's a big Dodge Hemi. <laughs> Look at a tall Jeep next to the slam. I mean, I'm talking slam pickup truck. Jeep, the, uh, the back gate doesn't go above the Jeep's wheel. So, it's on bag, yeah. This, Sally, is a Thunderbird. It an original, like I think, 55 Thunderbird, and it's for sale. And yeah, it is for sale. And he didn't put the price down on the piece of paper, so I can imagine it's gonna be expensive. This looks like sunny. Hey, Sally, this is the world's smallest minivan. <laughs> That's what it is. This is a mini, world's smallest three row seats of minivan. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a Fiat, so this is the first row, which you sit on top of the wheel, basically. And then it's the second row, which uh, the seats fold down. And then the there's the third row. Ever. So it's not a punch buggy, it's a Fiat, so it's not a Volkswagen. And, and this is the engine in here. I don't know. It's a, I mean, I, I love this shock mount for the engine here. That's hilarious. Uh, and then, and then, Widget is being smart, staying away from the heat. Staying away from the sun. But this is hilarious. It is, it is about the same size as this Porsche, which only seats four people. But this thing, <laughs> this is awesome. Speaking of Porsche, this 911 is beautiful. Uh, he's got a model of his own car and look at the oh wow look at the interior nice ivory interior leather everywhere porsche always does great work with their you know the craftsmanship the fit and finish if your engine won't fit in the hood just cut a hole in the hood yeah, that's that's radical right there. As a McLaren 570 with some tasteful uh, add-ons. First of all, there's a custom carbon fiber hood. And he's also added, what else? And uh, this nice carbon fiber rear spoiler. So, you know, not too crazy, not too overdone. It's still tasteful. You know, unlike that, uh, that right style McLaren from a couple weeks ago, that was just a monstrosity. This thing is okay. Out the Batmobile. And, and there's a slingshot, found a parking spot. And I like the way you get out of this thing, see? You pop this off, then you can just like, you know, uh, hop out. And <laughs> the, the windshield here, <laughs> it just only goes up to here. <laughs> and <laughs> Okay, that, uh, that's still great. I, 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 I'm seriously considering getting one of these things simply because they, they're so cheap and they look just like they look like hell fun. They look like a lot of fun. He's doing it again. Yes, we're just staying cool again. Check out this 1934 Ford Cabalet. I mean, the grill work there. He's going to do it again. And there. Engine. And it's for sale $42,000. Wow, you can tell this guy put a lot of work in this car. Very nice. New Corvette, meet Grandpa Corvette. Getting on in years, but uh, yeah, okay, what the heck, you're right. I, I, I really can't have, uh, yeah, new Corvette. Meet the new Corvette, there you go. Very nice Morgan Roaster. It has a belt. It has a belt, yeah. That's how you keep the hood from popping off. And uh, yeah, this is how you secure it, basically. There's no lock. Anyone can just come and just whip it off and take off your Morgan. Fuzzy dice. Fuzzy dice and everything. It's an Impala. Neighbors. There's a neighbors behind you. Oh my God, there's like 15 neighbors behind you. Oh, 
Okay, so this is what Sally's talking about. It's the Mailer's Club. <laughs> it's a, a Mailer, Slam, and another Mailer. <laughs> and yeah, it's a lot of vintage cars here. Wow, look at this Porsche. It has a Coke can on top. Coke can bottle top. It's got little belts on there. Uh, I think that's a gas tank on the Coke can bottle top. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't fit this thing, but I don't think I would fit either. It looks, it's cool. Uh, wow, beautifully restored. The organizer of Cars and Coffee going around his uh, weekly, I guess, walk around of all the cars here. That is one of the awesomest looking dog ever seen. Yeah, that, wow, nice, nice. Cars, dogs, and coffee. <laughs> Corvette, Corvette, Rolls Royce. Wow, I don't know what that is. Really nice Porsche Speedster, fully restored, but Next to it is a Callaway Corvette. It has a beluga bump. It has a beluga bump. That's how you tell. No, See? Bump. No, the bump, yeah. Yes. This bump, bump, for those who don't know, it's exclusive to Callaway. It just has this bump on here. It means it's a Callaway supercharged C6 Corvette. So, a couple of uh, Cobras here. This one is a, a more traditional V8, but this one here, this Cobra here, it uses an updated five liter, five liter V8 from a Mustang. Cool. Fuel injected, everything. That's a classic carburetor. Okay, it looks like a slingshot takeover. That first Polaris we saw when we started this video was just the first. Now they're all here. And they have taken over cars and coffee. Wow, look at this one. I mean, some of them are totally customized. It's uh, really cool how you can make the Polaris your own by just adding a few things. Batman would ride these. Batman would probably ride one of these, yes. This is definitely something that Batman would be driving around. Yeah. And like I said, you know, for like starting at $20,000, these things are just sheer awesome. awesome Roadrunner Superbird. I think it's a 1969 Dodge Charger. And there is basically the same car without the uh, Superbird add-ons. So this is a 440 Magnum. And I'm not sure what's in this thing. If it's a 440 Magnum, it's worth good money. If it's a 426 Hemi, it's worth a hell of a lot of money. Off-road punch buggy, and look another off-road punch buggy, and, and this off-road punch buggy has a light bar. That's cool. And look, a, uh, a shagon wagon, <laughs> Scooby-Doo van, and it's got the logo. Ah, I love, I, lo I like this. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> And oh look, the interior is really nice, Sally. I, wow. All right, so Supercar Row. We have a couple of uh, Ferrari 599 GTB, a black one, with a nice uh, 612 horsepower V12, I believe. And here's the same thing again, but in red. Which one you like, Sally? Black or red? Black. You like the black one? Yeah, I kind of like the red one. But uh, these are actually one of my favorite Ferraris. Oh, I bet. And, uh, well, and that's 430 here. 430 Spider in black with black wheels. Continuing our tour of supercar row, we have an Audi R8. Audi R8, a nice red and black model, super clean. Uh, nice selection of carbon fiber options. You got the Miyogen's carbon fiber, the side blazing carbon fiber, all the interior pieces in carbon. 
and the, uh, the rear spoiler in carbon, the carbon fiber engine decoration pieces. Yeah, and you can clearly see the, the V10 motor. The Ferrari 458 Italia. Some people's favorite Ferrari before they updated to the 488. This is a nationally aspirated V8 motor, no turbo, so it sounds better than the new one. The new one is more powerful and faster and some say better looking, but uh, one thing for sure, this one sounds better. Lamborghini Gallardo, convertible. McLaren MP412C. Uh, another Ferrari uh, Fly 458 Italia. Basically, exactly the same as the other one. McLaren 650, McLaren MP412C, McLaren 720, and a beautiful yellow. Uh, 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 oh wow, an original 4 GT. Not the new 4 GT or the middle 4 GT, but an original. AMG GTS. GTC, no, I said AMG GTC. This is the green monster one, the one they, they do for the Nurburgring. Ring. Another Ferrari 430. Uh, okay, the uh, the last Ford GT, the middle Ford GT here. <laughs> Magnum PI is a Ferrari, and a duplicate of Magnum PI is Ferrari. Wait, no, they're not. The heads are different. <laughs> Porsche. Porsche. A nice white McLaren 570 Spider, and the two Cromero is always here. The organizer of Calls and Coffees Cromero, and right there, you can get your coffee. All right, that comes to the uh, conclusion of our coverage of this week's Calls and Coffee. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, basically, uh, our car is not fully charged, so we have to get the hell out of here. I'm here. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time. Uh, enjoy. We're gonna Saturday night. I'm gonna, yeah, walk back to the car and enjoy the rest of our day. It's uh, gonna be a nice day. 75 degrees right now. Uh, give us a thumbs up, like and share our video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.